Hi, my name is Leilani and I am here to give you a very in-depth review of Elements of Faith, which is a master books, middle school, it's chemistry. A creation-based journey through the periodic table, it's chemistry. I, so just so you know a little bit about me, I am a former public and private school teacher and I've been homeschooling now for 10 years and I have been teaching homeschool science with the upper elementary and middle school at the homeschool co-op. I love science. It's my favorite to be teaching. So we're going to be doing this one this year, Elements of Faith. And just a little bit about master books so you're aware that they don't have the same author for every single one of their curriculum that they put out. They have different authors. You're going to get different qualities, different styles, but master books does a really good job of giving you a pattern. And when I say pattern, this is your suggested daily schedule. And this is what they all look like. It's very, very detailed. Another thing that you're going to see with any master books, they're going to have quizzes in the back of the book and they're going to have some test or final. This one is the final exam actually. And then they're going to have the answer key right after it. What's nice about this one though is it's all in color. So that's really cool. So let's kind of start with day one to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. So day one says read hydrogen forming water page 15 through 16 and answer the questions on page 16. That's, I mean, like I said, you're literally going through the elements. So here's hydrogen. I'll show you kind of what it looks like. There you go. And the questions. I really like this thing down here. So at the bottom of the page, they have something called My Response. It's a prayer. And I like that about this book because it's all turning itself back to the Creator. Each day, the first day, you had hydrogen. The second day, it says to do helium. And then the third day, you're going to have lithium. What's neat is they're color-coded. Right. Colors are really important because it's color coded on the, the chart itself. They actually say on day four, when you get to day four, it's kind of used as a catch up day and they give you a weekly instruction guide over here. So they give you option A, B, C, D, and E, something you can do for each. So option A is if you need to catch up the week's assignment, use it as a catch up day. Uh, option B, if you need time to review for the quiz, this day works for well. So you only need to review the three elements. So see the pattern there? It's three elements a week and then a quiz. So option C though, each week a student studies three new elements and the fourth day can be used to create and study these three element flashcards for the week. And then option D, some weeks have experiments at the back of the book. So sometimes they'll say, let's do, you know, experiment on page such and such. And option E, uh, a writing and a research assignment digging a little deeper into the world of chemistry. In week one, they actually say experiment displacement of helium. But if you go to week two, it says options for the day, study day, review day, flashcard, or you can start your element collection. So there's no experiment this day. There is an activity, the element collection. So, I mean, obviously you can't collect all the elements. <laughs> That would be dangerous. They give you a little guide on what, what elements you can collect. Um, helium, a small balloon from the local dollar store can give a helium sample that will last a long time. Not gonna last you the whole year though. I promise you that, but you guys know that. All right, so boron, uh, you can get boron and you can collect some carbon and, and sodium, sodium, aluminum, sulfur. <laughs> This is fun, so you have like a little collection of some of the elements, so not all of them. The experiments are actually in the back of the book. So there you go, that's a helium experiment right there, and there's a balloon, go figure, right? Go figure. Now there's quizzes on day five. Quizzes or test, every, and you'll see them too, if you can actually see them, it's just quiz, 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 I mean, it's consistent. Day five is quiz, 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 quiz. Last week, you're gonna have review, 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 final exam. There's two different options for final exams and they give you the two different options. So 
And if you want to really, really have fun with it, like, do both final exams? I don't know. I looked through the book. It's organized very well. It's straight to the point. You're doing elements, okay? And it's colorful, and it points to the Lord, and it's simple, sweet, and, and to the point. So that's how they present chemistry. I'm really excited using this book, but I'm going to be honest. I am for the homeschool co-op. Because of my experience with master books, I'm trying to think of how to put this. <laughs> because of my experience with master books in a homeschool co-op environment, it doesn't work very well as a standalone. In the home, totally different situation, okay? But in a homeschool co-op, I've always went back to Apologia. And so what we're going to be doing at the homeschool co-op is we're going to be using Apologia is kind of the main curriculum and then this guy right here we're just going to be I'm not gonna do the test and quizzes from this book what I am gonna do is I'm gonna have these as homework sheets through the week and going through the elements as homework sheets and answering the questions and that simple I'm not gonna worry about the quizzes just answer the questions read about it apology is going to be our main curriculum when I look at the experiments I, look, I like I like doing hands-on experiments. That's just something when you're in a group setting, that's what you're going to do in a homeschool co-op. There are only 13 experiments in this book, which is great if you're doing it at home, but there's only 13. You might want to add more than 13. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm an experiment girl. I like doing the hands-on messy stuff. If your kids are more into learning through reading, then this is definitely a better better situation for you. So that's my review. Doo -doo, here it is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.